Hello everyone, this uh, video is on uh, about the Deco 160 DC inverter welder. Really nice machine, super lightweight. It's on Amazon for about $128 or so. Give you a little around the machine view here. Leads are pretty long. This is my little welding setup here. Zoom out for you. Zoom back in here. Here's our grounding clamp. Has decent tension. Not super great, but it gets the job done. Here's our stinger here. Not top of the line, but again, has a, enough tension. Holds the rod well. Go back over the machine here. We have these nice DINs connectors. They are reversible as well. If you're looking to get a nice deep weld on a 6010 rod or so, if you do re reverse polarity, it digs in pretty nice. Let's fire this bad boy up. Switches in the back here. Oh, no switch. Super quiet. So I just got done running a uh, 6013 rod. This is on 110. Comes with this nice. 220 to 110 plug haven't run it on 220 yet I would think it's probably amazing on 220 um, it is kicking ass right now on 110 you can see by some of these welds haven't welded in a while so been practicing over the past couple days Probably received the machine uh, four days ago or so. So these are some different beads that I ran with different temperatures. I underestimated the machine in the beginning. And you can see I was running here. I was running really hot, really sloppy. After a couple days of playing around with the machine, I actually was really underestimating the machine. I had it running at about... 120, 130, thinking it was, you know, underpowered, but it isn't by any means. Um, this is a 6013 run right here. I thought that was pretty decent. I was doing a little uh, number six pattern here as I was going through. Real nice. Here's my little uh, flux, a little caterpillar, I'll call it. That was on there. Came off all in one shot. It was nice, nice smooth weld. You can see by my other, you know, the rest of the slag here, I had some pretty decent welds. And this is quarter inch plate. You can see there. I'm using a three thirty seconds, I believe. Yep. Using three thirty seconds rod. 6013 burns excellent. 7018 is an awesome rod also for this machine. Seventy eighteen laid down really nice. I'll show you that. Turn the camera around here. This nice fat bead here. 
a nice figure eight pattern. I was actually running it the opposite way. I have the steel oil welded out now. It's a little messy. This is a 7018 run. This is also a 7018 run. I'm going to clean this up and do another review now that I have an idea on what the machine can do on 110. I actually want to try and do a, a sample run on 110 and then eventually put it on uh, 220 and run some nice beads with the same rod and see what kind of amperage we need to run on a machine and how smooth they come out or if they come out even smoother. I mean we're doing pretty good right now on 110. You can see these here some of them are a little choppy some of them are sitting on top again I was playing with the uh, amperage here but I'll tell you right around 90 amps and you sit on it a little bit take your time get comfortable you can really lay down some nice beads with this machine really nice I'm impressed for the money the weight um, there isn't anything cheesy or corny uh, about it you know the meat and potatoes of it there is a wire brush I'll call it that came with the kit which is this this is probably the only cheesiest thing um, but this is hey for 128 bucks you absolutely cannot beat this can't beat it On, uh, you can see your amperage here. We can crank this bad boy up. We have a top, yeah, the top's at about 158. I don't know if you can see that. That's about max there. I haven't taken it up that far, but I can tell you when I started, I had it at about 130, 140, and I was just really slopping it up. Um, so you don't need it that hot. I would imagine you probably couldn't run as long either. Um, you know, run at that kind of amperage um, on one, 110. So, there's a couple other things I welded up here were some bushings. Again, I haven't welded, stick welded in a while, uh, but I thought they came out pretty decent. A um, couple boogers up top there. Some holes up here. But then once you start getting used to the machine, you can really start smoothing it out getting nice beads around there you can see where I started and finished take some getting used to so all in all I think it's a fantastic machine like I said, you can't beat it for the money. Burns right into, in, into the metal real nice. Burns the sticks nice. And uh, like I said, this is quarter inch steel. Not having any problems with it. And uh, I'm hoping to put it on 220 and burn some eighth inch rod. And see how that does. And uh, post up again. Hope you liked the video. Take care.